News is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. So I just read they finished the world's largest laser beam. It took them 12 years. It's 192 lasers and it cost three and a half billion dollars. And that just makes me think that now the aliens are definitely going to attack us. President Barack Obama is demanding new plans from Detroit automakers after rejecting the latest proposals from GM and Chrysler. President Obama said, let's be clear, uh, I am committed to the United States creating the next generation of clean cars. Unfortunately, the car makers uh, are not moving in the right direction quickly enough, so we are going to hold them to a tough standard uh, and demand that they come up with a better way out of this before they get billions of dollars. And the car makers replied, oh, wow, accountability? Oh, geez, I don't know. It was hard enough switching from the private jets to driving in in those hybrids, so maybe I'll just sit this one out. Uh, listen, am I still going to get my multi-million dollar retirement package? Good. Okay. Uh, you guys have fun with this mess. News from around the world. The Israeli army has ended its investigation into the alleged killings of civilians in the Gaza Strip, saying the claims were not based on facts. The chief prosecutor remarked, How dare you? How dare you accuse the Israeli soldiers of such horrible things? You have done irreparable damage, sir, to the morale of the soldiers and to Israel's reputation worldwide. So yes, perhaps they did shoot an elderly woman, but do you know what Hamas does? Hamas dresses up elderly women and turns them into human bombs. So basically, every elderly woman is a target. And some human rights groups said, uh, I'm guessing you're maybe a little biased investigating the Israeli army as the Israeli army, so that's not very independent. It's sort of the same reason that talent scouts cast child actors and not parents. Because despite what you think, your ugly baby is not cute. Marta on stage. And NASA unveiled a full-size replica of the Orion spacecraft that's designed to take astronauts back to the moon and eventually onto Mars. NASA told the public, We are so excited about this Orion spacecraft. You have no idea. It's all I can do not to hyperventilate right now. But we're going to work some kinks out. We're going to send astronauts to the ISS uh, using the Orion by 2015, to the moon by 2020, and then to Mars maybe mid-2030s. Uh, right now, that would be about a three-year round trip. And we're not entirely confident that that whole thing wouldn't just fall apart. So we're going to work the kinks out, like I said. And uh, we're just aiming for Mars, you know, aim for the stars, aim for Mars, right? And some potential astronauts may have thought to themselves, uh, yeah, NASA, let me just give you a tip. When talking about transporting living human beings into space, I would personally avoid using phrases like working the kinks out and using the moon as a testing ground. I would think by the time you get to the moon, maybe you've got it worked out a little bit. And uh, dealing with the possibility of things breaking that aren't repairable. Yeah, that's kind of a turnoff, like leaving dirty dishes in the sink, except deadly. And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello. And over the weekend, I went to the Streamy Awards. Here's a picture. And since people are always asking what Brian behind the camera looks like, here's a picture of him in his natural state, in a suit and on the phone. Come on, man.